Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be modeling a picture frame. Uh, the reason that I chose this is because this helps you practice your UV skills, uh, which is very important. So let's jump into Maya and let's get going. Uh, as you can see, I'm still here. Let me get rid of this on startup. Still here in Maya, uh, just like last time. My UI is kind of set up the way that I prefer it although Maya has a bad habit of resizing these windows. Okay, um, so I have a picture here. This is a picture that I took. Uh, I'm not 100% sure when it comes to copyright stuff, what is useful and what is you know, fair use and what isn't. Um, anyway, so this was at my uh, this is at a birthday party, and so we're going to take this picture, we're going to make a picture frame, and then um, project that picture into that picture frame. Okay, so let's start out, and let's go shift, right click, and let's uh, select cube. And now I'm going to come here to polycube, and a, a 4 by 6 picture is probably pretty standard, right? So let's go with the width being, let's see, that's a portrait picture, so the width would be 4, and the depth would be 6, I believe. Yep. Okay, so this is the size of our picture. Um, now I'm going to right-click and drag, and go to face, and then select one face, and then shift, double-click, in order to select all the faces around here, and then control E for extrude. And now I'm just going to, this, this widget is on the normal, which means the direction that the face is, is facing. So if I pull out along that, it will actually extrude along the normal, and each face will go in the direction that that face is facing. So instead of hitting another button, I'm just going to pull out until about there. Um, and now I'm going to select the top face and hit Control e and then I'm going to extrude that in about there. Okay. Now I'm just going to select these back faces and hit delete to delete those. Um, and then right click and drag, go to edge, double click on one edge and it'll select everything around there and hit W. And I'm just going to pull those up to about there. And I think this face, right click and drag, W for the move tool, pull that up a little bit. Okay, now that's a very basic picture frame, but um, right click and drag. Uh, now, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift D to, for duplicate. And then this little button up here, it's the box with the dotted lines and the mouse. I'm going to click that, and what that's going to do is solo whatever I have selected. If I click it again, that'll unsolo it. So I can move this aside and I hit this and I just have that one object. So let me put that back. I'm going to solo this. Right click and drag and go to face. Grab this face and move it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to select and inverse and hit delete. And now I can unsolo this. Now, if I go into my outliner, I have two cubes. Um, this one and this one. This one, I'm going to double click and say glass. And this one, I'm going to say frame. And just to keep things nice, I'm going to right click and drag, go to face, select my bottom face here, and then shift right click and go to extract faces. Now, if I deselect and I just select, uh, if I select everything and just go create or edit, delete by type history, and now, okay, that bottom face, I'm going to name that picture, and the top one, I'm going to name frame. And I'm going to select both, and using my middle mouse button, I'm going to drag them outside of that group and then delete that group. Okay, 
Uh, now let's add some variants to this. I think let's start out by adding a bevel. So right click and drag and I'm going to go to select all of these edges and I'm going to right click, uh, I'm going to select the inside edges as well. Right, right click and drag and go to bevel and I like that. Um, now I'm going to select these two edges right click and drag bevel I don't like that as much let's bring this to point one yeah okay um, now with that bevel came some issues here so let's fix those let's go to object mode and then shift right click and drag go to multi cut tool and just like we did with the mug I'm going to cut an edge here and that's just clicking with my left mouse button clicking with my left mouse button and then clicking with my right right mouse button to finish and then I'm going to grab this edge and shift right click and drag and delete edge Okay, I'm going to do that on these ones real quick as well. Real quick, I can't speak today. My goodness. Oops. There's that one. And there's that one. This one. Okay, and I will go back and delete those edges very quickly. Okay. All right, much better. Now, um, what I think I'm going to do is I am going to cut this into one quarter in order to UV it, and then I'm just going to mirror those quarters around. Eh, no, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's keep it the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top view here. So hit my four view box and then um, hit the space bar. And with this selected, I'm going to go to my UV editor. Again, I don't know why Maya likes to make things as big as possible. And I'm just going to go edit, or I'm sorry, create and camera based. And then I'm going to give myself some more room and right click and drag, go to UV, select everything, and then modify. Oh, wait, I can do it here. Unfold. I believe it's unfold. Close. There used to be a tool in like my 2016. Tools. Hmm. I'm sorry. Optimize. Anyway, it doesn't really actually matter that much because we aren't going to be... Oh, look at that. These still exist. So I'm going to hit W, select the middle square, and then V, and I'm just going to move my middle mouse button over one of those vertices and that will snap that vertice there. And then I can select everything, shift right click and merge vertices. Okay. Um, now I'm going to right click and go to assign new material. 
shader, AI standard surface shader. Okay, and now in the color, I'm going to come here and I'm going to find a, I'm just going to type in Arnold Texture. Now I'm just going to use a Maya one. I'm going to type wood. And then I'm going to hit six. And you can see the wood that is now uh, all right, I'm going to make these vein colors pretty dark. I'm going to change this to something much darker. And the spread, the layer size. Next, I'm going to select my glass here, and I'm going to right-click and go to Assign New Material, and Shader, and then uh, Arnold Shader, and then AI Standard Surface, and then here in the presets, I'm just going to come down here to Glass and click Replace, and then last but not least, if I go to my picture, and again, I'm going to go ahead to the top view here by clicking this or pressing the space bar and then putting my mouse in the top view and hitting space bar. In my UV window, I'm going to go to the UV editor and create camera based. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to project my picture. So assign a new material, Arnold and AI standard surface. In the color tab, we'll hit that. It's going to bring up this, and we can go to texture, 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 AI image, and then we can just grab this image. Okay, and bam! Look at that. We have ourselves, we have glass, we have this. All right, so now uh, let's create a wall. We'll just put in a plane and scale it up. And walls are vertical, so uh, E, and we'll just pull that up. I'll turn that by 90. And then we'll stick all of our stuff in one group and rotate that by 90. Okay. We have our picture. It's on a wall. Let's assign a new material, AI standard. And the color, yeah, white's fine. We'll add an Arnold Aerolite. Um, then we will scale up and then we will turn it a little bit and move it this way. And then one last for good measure, we'll add a sky dome light. Okay. Scale that up a little bit more. Oh, and this one we will take all the specular out of it. That's just a diffuse. And this one will take our spec down to something like 0.2 and just put that roughness up to 0.3. All right, so now if I go to Arnold, Arnold Render View, Hit play. Give it a second. Mm. 
Alrighty. Why is that not working? Hmm. I'm get exposure of one. Let's turn the sky dome light off. And the area light. Put the intensity to five. Seven. Exposure to two. Uh, I know why. Because I have to select this glass, hit Control A, go to the Arnold tab under the glass shape, and hit untick opaque. And now you can see the picture. Arnold's funny that way. Alright, now we can turn this on. Point two. Okay, you guys, I really appreciate you watching and uh, letting me figure this out with you guys. Uh, um, drop me any love, and I will see you all next time.